Hey guys, so I was about to head out to a yoga class and I was gonna film on the way there and when I was heading out the door, the Amazon guy showed up with my package. I'm getting a bunch of packages in the next few days because I've been on a little bit of a shopping spree on Amazon, but I believe this one is my essential oils stuff. So I'm going to try and like set this up so that I can show you me opening it. So hold on a second, don't judge my kitchen. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess. We have been, I am in like pseudo finals week, so I've been kind of a mess, but, um, yeah, I got some stuff for essential oils for, um, to like make rollers for my girls and for myself. Um, so I'm going to be going out of town a little bit and so I kind of wanted something to be able to take, um, some of them with me. So that I could smell good and stuff. So yeah. Um let's put that there. So fractionated coconut oil. Because you that's what you have to use to dilute them. And then I got these little blue rollers, which I'm hoping don't suck. We're gonna see. Um so these are the little roller tops that come in with it. And these are the lids, and then for some reason it comes with this little dropper thing, which I have no idea why, whatever. Uh, and then these are the actual bottles, so I'll open them up real quick. Um, while I'm doing this, okay, y'all, don't judge me, but me and knives are not, not good friends. Um, <laughs> I know I'm 30 years old, I should be okay with knives, but yeah, we're not good friends. Um, but while I'm opening this... I was going to talk, oh, here's the bottle, here's the blue bottles, so, um, I, like I was saying, I was going to go to, I am still going to go to a yoga class on base, so if you are a military spouse, and, or active duty military, and you're with the Air Force, and then I got this cute little bag to put my oils in, um, usually, on most Air Force bases, and then see, it's got the little pouch, well, you can't see that, but like, you can stick your essential oils. I have a couple of them. So I have some small ones, and then I have one 15 milliliter. So these are the five milliliters. This is what comes in the starter kit for essential oils. Um, and these will fit in here like that. Uh, I believe the 15 milliliters will fit, and then um, the rollers, the roller bottles will also fit in here like this. If you can even see that. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, but as I was saying, um, if you are affiliated with the military in some way, shape, or form, and it's specifically Air Force, I don't know about other branches because I've never been stationed on another one. I've never had like a joint base experience, so can't tell you about that really. But, um, usually their, um, fitness center will offer classes for free. So you don't have to like pay for a gym membership. Um, and if you're not already aware of this, you can use the base facilities, um, which you should already be aware of, or your spouse should tell you. Um, but then it like it saves you money. So if you live off base, the only thing that sucks is you have to drive to base. But you can use all the equipment for free. You can take all the classes. Um, when I was in England, there were some awesome ones. They had cardio kickboxing and Zumba and stuff like that. Here at, at um, Luke, it's not as they're not as much, but um, they do offer a yoga class at ten in the morning. So if you aren't working, um, you can go do that, and that's what I'm gonna go do today. Um, I'm gonna take a yoga class because I'm I've done it before, and it really is relaxing. It helps me feel better, and I feel like I'm at a point now where I can be um, comfortable doing that. So and not have to worry about missing homework and stuff like that. So both all of my dogs are put away, which is what you're hearing barking. Um, but yeah, so. Today I have like one major assignment I have to work on and then I have, um, I'm going to make those rollers and where's my wallet because you can't get on base without your ID. Holding my cell phone so don't need that. There's my wallet right next to the stuff up here. Um, but yeah, I have a, I feel like I have quite a, enough flexibility in my schedule right now that I can do that. I'm so excited to go home to see my mom. I keep saying like go home on leave because... Uh. 
because in the past, when I would go home, um, I'd be on leave. So <laughs> I keep saying go home. Um, I don't know why. Like I still call Tennessee home, even though I've lived in Arizona for six years now. Just way too long. Um, not that Arizona is awful, guys. I like Arizona. Honestly, it's a really awesome place to live. But yeah. Um, I don't know. I just. Yeah. Oh, I don't like my car. All right, guys. Well, I will see you guys in a little bit. So I just got to um, the place where they do the yoga class, and I am sitting outside because I am ridiculously early, as always. Um, but I forgot when I was talking earlier about the services that um, are offered as far as, like, fitness goes. Usually the base will also have a pool. Um, depending on where you're at, if you're for the Air Force, the worse the location, usually, the better the facilities. So, like, if you're in the middle of nowhere, usually you have, like, a really nice gym. They'll probably, they might even have, like, an indoor pool. It just depends. Um, but, like, Hawaii, if you go, if you're ever stationed in Hawaii, from what I've heard, the services there are awful. When I say services, that's a part of mission support group in the Air Force, um, and so, like, those are the people who run, like, the hotel on base, the, um, which we call lodging facilities, um, the pool, the fitness center, all that stuff, it's mission support group, um, they're the, it's the same, like, group that handles finance and personnel, um, but there's just different, like, um, there's different squadrons underneath the group, and they do different things, so, yeah, um, those are the, that's kind of what I've noticed anyway. When I was in England, we shared facilities with a base that was like less than a five minute drive from us. Um, so like they had a bigger commissary, we had a bigger, um, base exchange. They had like a better, they had like classes and stuff that were offered at their gym that weren't, we didn't offer classes at ours, but it was because you were so close that they just like the Air Force would save money that way. Um, here, like I said, the nicer the location, the less amazing the facilities, unless you're going through an airframe change like um, Luke just did where we were getting F-35s. So then there was some money that came to the base. And once you have money, you can start to divvy it up on how you're going to upgrade some things. And a few of the things that got upgraded for us were our service facilities. So like our gyms got upgraded, which is nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else gets upgraded oh we all usually you'll have like a like a football slash soccer field or whatever and the track is around that and that's where you run your pt test unless you're somewhere where it is ridiculously cold like alaska then their track is indoors over the gym and you run it that way um because even when i was in england we ran ours outside most of the time but it doesn't get that cold in england um you get more rain than you do um, even though it's on like the same parallel as Alaska, the jet stream, like from the ocean keeps it kind of warmer. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's about, that's about it as far as the services go. Um, and this is, I mean, if you're an airman and you live in the dorms, then you are on base. So you're already close to all this stuff, which is nice. Um, I mean, you have to live where you work, which kind of sucks. Um, well, I mean, it really sucks, but other than that, you know, you're, like, across the street from where I'm at right now, there are dorms, and so they can literally just walk across the street and go to the gym. Um, there's also um, chapel on base, so there's, like, church services and stuff, and then I'll, another thing that's here that a lot of places have is like a thrift store and so I think it's if you're E5 and below you can just go in there and get stuff for free and they have people just donate stuff so they have like furniture coffee makers stuff like that which I'm probably going to go in there after this because I'm going to check out and see if there's any like china cabinets in there that I want um but they also have like uniform stuff so if you're going to be pregnant and you need um, maternity uniforms first off you get a clothing allowance if you get pregnant so if if you have to get maternity uniforms you do get a clothing allowance but you can go over there and like I said if you're e5 and below it's free so you can get if they have if you're lucky enough that they have something in your size you can just get that and then have it altered for like your your rank and stuff um 
so yeah, those are some of the things I forgot to talk about that uh, I wanted to make sure I covered. Um, and oh, also, if you are new to like a military, an Air Force base, usually, unless it's like really old or you're in another country where they didn't like have a way to set it up, all of your support stuff is going to be on one side of the base and all of your operation stuff is going to be on the other side of the base. So for, for us, Luke is divided by like a main road. So like right next to where I'm at right now is the flight line. And then like the gym is here, but then all the, like the base exchange, the, um, hospital, the, um, medical personnel or not medical personnel, the personnel section and finance, all that is over on the other side of base and like the child they have a CDC so you have daycare um that's like comparable cost to off base um but all of that's on the other side so in general that's a good way if you're new to a base like wherever the flight line is the opposite side is where all the support stuff is usually if you're lost um but yeah it looks like this class is gonna start soon so I'm gonna go in and I will see you guys in a little bit hey guys so it's um, Tuesday today, and I'm driving to school, but I thought I would tell you a fun story. Um, so my seven-year-old wakes up in the morning, and she's like, my tummy hurts. So, okay, this is not an uncommon complaint for either one of my children, my tummy hurts. A lot of times it has to do with anxiety about something. Um, so, but then she starts saying, you know, my head hurts. And I don't feel, I feel kind of mint. I'm like, okay. So, I like feel her. She doesn't feel warm. I'm like, well, honey, you gotta go to school. So, I send her to school. But they have early release on Mondays. So, they get out at 1. So, I go to pick her up. And she's sitting by herself. Which is unusual for my little one. Because she's pretty social. And I'm at, I ask her, I'm like, okay, well, you know. She's like, my tummy still hurts. So I'm like, well, where does it hurt? And so she shows me, and it's like her lower abdomen kind of areas where she's she's indicating. Um, so I'm like, okay. And I was like, what did you eat today? And she's like, well, at breakfast I ate an orange, and, and I had packed snacks for her, um, which I don't normally do, but I had. And then she's like, at lunch I ate like a little bit of a strawberry and a chicken nugget. And it, but she didn't get it over snacks. Well, my baby eats. So, it, that's very uncommon for her not to eat. So she was really feeling yucky. And they've had some sinus drainage going on because of allergies and stuff. So, I tell her, I'm like, well, honey, you need to eat something. You got to put something in there. It's probably your sinuses. So, I get in the car and I also start asking her, like, okay, how much water have you had to drink today? Because both of my kids do not drink water like at all which you know if you live in a more humid area that's not a big a big deal I didn't drink water that much when I was a kid but out here because it's so dry you just you have to drink water if you don't drink water you're it's not good so I tell her to start drinking water and she's in the back seat and we were gonna go and get me a new vacuum cleaner because I need a new one the one that I have I paid like $30 for it five years ago so it's you know it's and we have six pets so there's a lot of hair plus my hair plus the girl's hair so it's been through a lot so it's time for a new vacuum cleaner anyway so we're on um this kind of main road that's known for being congested but they were doing construction on it so it's even more congested and she looks at me or she says it's lovely and I said like, yeah and she said I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up and I was like okay there's a sonic back in the floor now my husband is determined that I need to keep my car cleaned out. What he does not understand is that when you have children, sometimes having extra bags in the car, not a bad thing. Um, granted, it would have been better if it was a plastic bag. I'll get back to that in a minute. But it was the only thing I had that she, like would contain some amount of it. So she picks up the Sonic bag and sure enough, there she goes. Um, and so she's just going and I'm, I'm rubbing her leg and you know driving and I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. Keep going, baby. It's okay. <laughs> And so she gets it all out. Um, well, the bottom of the Sonic bag is paper, obviously. And so it rips. So, like, some of the contents, not all of them, some of the contents make it into her lap. Quite a bit of it makes it into her lap. Into her, she has a booster. So it's, like, in her lap and in her booster. Not a big deal. Um, but it was a lot of water because she had just, like, instead of slowly sipping the water, she had been chugging the water. 
not like checking, but like drinking fairly quickly. Um, so it's a lot of liquid. Sorry if that's overshare. But anyway, so yeah, so I was, because my plan was I was going to take the girls and I was going to go to Jamba Juice and I was going to get her a smoothie because I figured, you know, it'll taste good. It's not going to be super heavy and it'll stay in her stomach. So it'll get her tummy working on something other than snot because that's prior to why she was upset. Well, anyway, so that didn't work. So then like I call her social worker because her social worker was supposed to come yesterday at four. And this is the second time this has happened. One of them has gotten sick when her social worker is supposed to come. And I tell, I, and she doesn't answer, so I leave her a voicemail. Well, she calls me back, and I'm telling her, like, hey, I don't know. She's been feeling sick all day. I don't know if it's a one-time thing, but we're going to have to reschedule. She's like, okay, so we reschedule on the phone while I'm, I do not have my planner. Sorry if you guys can hear the jets. Um, do not have my planner. So I'm, like, trying to think of all the appointments that they have, and we finally find a day when we're going to be able to do it, and I don't think there are any conflicting appointments, and luckily I was correct. Um... And so that all works out. But meanwhile, I'm like driving around this rather large parking lot looking for a garbage can so that we can stop because I do have a roll of paper towels in my car. Um, so I knew I'd be able to, to, you know, clean some of this mess up before we head back to the house. And she's like, I wish we were home. I'm like, I know, baby. I didn't know you were going to get sick. I'm sorry. That's my fault. Um, and so I get her cleaned up. She's like, it's, I know it's, it's not my fault, right? I was like, no, honey, it's not your fault. You're sick. <laughs> um, and so <laughs> I get cleaned up. Well, at this point, we were at Jamba Juice. And so I'm like, well, my theory still holds true. She's going to need something in there. So I went ahead and got us a Jamba Juice smoothie. And everything worked out fine. Like, she didn't, that didn't come back up. And she didn't throw up the rest of the night. I did give her crackers last night at dinner. And she told me that her tummy was still feeling really turbulent a little turbulent so we didn't try anything else but um and this morning she woke up and she was fine but yeah that was my fun story was I've never had a kid throw up in my car before and so and it did get on my seat so then this morning like I left all the windows cracked last night and this morning we got up and it didn't smell too like it wasn't like baked in smell um, but the girls were in the back seat, and both of them were like, yeah, it smells back here. I was like, okay, well, so I got some Febreze, and I Febreze it up, and I'm going to the, leave the windows down when I park at school today and hope for hope for the best. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was one of my lesser proud moments, uh, was dealing with my baby and her, her regurgitation. The fun fact, so this is the strange thing about me, I guess, is I will take any moment to make it a learning opportunity and so we learned the different words you could use for um throwing up and that was regurgitation that was one of them so um but yeah she just looked so sad well once she once she got it out she felt better she was like back to her normal self again I could tell she was feeling better but whew, that first little bit I was worried because she just was not acting like herself um But yeah, so that's, that was my fun, fun story for today. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you guys. Uh, so I have a week and like two days until I graduate and we have paid for me to walk, but I don't know if I want to go or not. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go just because like, it's going to be a lot of work and you know, we're going to have to sit through the whole ceremony and all that other stuff. And I don't know if it's worth it. It's just a big headache. John and I have both been... So that's the other thing. John and I have both been feeling sick too. So I don't know if she caught like some of that kind of thing. Honestly, I think mine is stress. Like my body has just sensed that, okay, like school's almost over. So I can finally like relax a little bit and like let my guard down some. Um, and so my body's like almost detoxing, if you will, from the stress. Um, 